And good to be back with you again today as we continue through the Word of God. I'm going to be reading Ezekiel chapters 24, 25, and 26. And start in Ezekiel chapter 24. Again in the ninth year, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, write, the name, write thee the name of the day. Even of the same day, the king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem the same day, and utter a parable unto the rebellious house, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Set a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Gather the pieces thereof into it, even every good piece, the thigh and the shoulder, Fill it with the choice bones. Take the choice of the flock and burn also the bones under it and make it boil well and let them see the bones of it therein. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein and whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring it out piece by piece. Let not lot fall upon it. For her blood is in the midst of her. She set it upon the top of a rock. She poured it not upon the ground to cover it with dust, that it might cause fury to come up to take vengeance. I have set her blood upon the top of a rock, that it should not be covered. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city, I will make even the pile for fire great. Heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the bones be burned. Then set it empty upon the coals thereof, that the brass of it may be hot and may burn, and that the filthiness of it may be molten in it, that the scum of it may be consumed. She hath wearied herself with lies, and her great scum went not forth out of her. Her scum shall be in the fire, and thy filthiness is lewdness, because I have purged thee, and thou wast not purged. Thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more, till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. It shall come to pass, and I will do it. I will not go back, neither shall I spare. Neither will I repent according to thy ways, and according to thy doings shall they, shall they judge thee, saith the Lord God. Also the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke. Yet neither shalt thou mourn nor weep, neither shalt thy tears run down. Forbear to cry, make no mourning for the dead. Bind Bind the tire of thine head upon thee, and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning, and even at and at even my wife died, and I did in the morning as I was commanded. And the people said unto me, Wilt thou not tell us what these things are to us, that thou doest so? Then I said, Answer them, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Speaking to the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the excellency of your strength, the desire of your eyes, and that which your soul pitieth, and your sons and your daughters, whom ye have left, shall fall by the sword. And ye shall do as I have done. Ye shall not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of men, and your tires shall be upon your heads, and your shoes upon your feet. Ye shall not mourn nor weep, but ye shall pine away for your iniquities, and mourn one toward another. Thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign, according to all that he hath done, shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Also thou, son of man, shall it not be in the day when I take from them their strength, the joy of their glory, the desire of their eyes, and that whereupon they set their minds, their sons and their daughters, that he that escapeth in that day shall come unto thee, to cause thee to hear it with thine ears. In that day saith, sorry, in that day shall my, thy mouth be opened to him, which is escaped, and thou shalt speak and be no more dumb, and thou shalt be a great, shall be a sign unto them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter twenty-five. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying. Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them, and say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, because thou saidest, Aha, against my sanctuary, then, excuse me, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore, I will deliver to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the Ammonites a couching place for flocks. 
and ye shall know that I am the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast clapped thine hands and stamped with the feet and rejoiced in the heart with all the, thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore, I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spool to the heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities, which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jemosh, Beth Jemosh, Beth Jishmimoth, Balmion, and Kirathim unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Taman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, because the Philistines have dealt by revenge, and have taken vengeance and dis with a despiteful heart to destroy it for the old hatred, therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will stretch out mine hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the Cherithians, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel chapter 26 And it came to pass in the eleventh year of the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, because that Tyrus hath said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, that was the gates of the people. She is turned unto me, I shall be replenished. Now she is laid waste. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea causeth his waves to come up, and they shall destroy the walls of Tyrus and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. And it shall be a spool to the nations, and her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword, and they shall know that I am the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring upon Tyrus, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, a king of kings from the north with horses and with chariots and with horsemen and companies and much people. He shall slay with the sword thy daughters in the field and he shall make a fort against thee and cast a mount against thee and lift up the buckler against thee and he shall set engines of war against thy walls and with his axes he shall break down thy towers. By reason of the abundance of the, his horses are, their dust shall cover thee. Thy walls shall make, shall shake at the noise of the horsemen, and of the wheels, and of the chariots, when he shall enter into the gates, as men enter into a city wherein is made a breach. With the hoofs of his horses shall he tread down all thy streets. He shall slay thy people by the sword, and thy strong garrison shall go down to the ground. And they shall make a spoil of thy riches, and make a prey of thy merchandise, and they shall break down thy walls, and destroy thy pleasant houses. And they shall lay thy stones and thy timber and thy dust in the midst of the water. And I will cause the noise of thy songs to cease and the sounds of thy harps to be no more heard. And I will make thee like the top of a rock that shall be a place to spread nets upon. And thou shalt be built no more, for I the Lord have spoken yet, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God to Tyre, shall not the isles shake at the sound of thy fall when the wounded cry, when the slaughter is made in the midst of thee? Then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones and lay away their robes, put off their broidered garments. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. They shall sit upon the ground and shall tremble at every moment and be astonished at thee. And they shall take up a lamentation for thee and say to thee, How art thou destroyed? Thou wast inhabited of seafaring men, 
the renowned city which was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants which caused the, their terror to be on all that haunted. Now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall. Yea, the isles are in the sea, shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus saith the Lord God, when I shall make thee a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep upon thee, and great waters shall cover thee, when I shall bring thee down with them that descend into the pit, when the people of old time and shall set thee in the lower parts of the earth, in places desolate of old, with them that go down to the pit, that thou be not inhabited, and I shall set glory in the land of the living. I will make thee a terror, and thou shalt be no more, though thou be sought for, yet shalt thou never be found again, saith the Lord God. Amen. Lord bless. Look forward to being back with you again tomorrow.